What's up, guys? Welcome to another exciting issue of uh, The Court of Cows. This is issue 28, so uh, we're almost to 30. Yeah. That means we're grown adults. Um, as always, I'm Chris, joined by... Cody. I'm August. Mike. Uh, and uh, court is in session. Woo! <laughs> Today, uh, got some stuff to catch up on. It's been a while since you guys got to hear our... Sexy voices. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, we've been gone. We've been working on some other uh, other projects. We'll talk about yeah, that a little bit. Exciting, exciting. Um, but some big things have happened since last we spoke. Um, Comic Con just happened. Mm -hmm. Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. Spider Man. Mm -hmm. Found my glasses. Yeah. Splatoon Two came out. Yeah. And uh, had a pretty good burger for dinner. So. <laughs> Took forever. <laughs> it did take forever. <laughs> did yeah. take forever. We We've actually been waiting it. on that burger since the last podcast. <laughs> At least that's how it's felt. So, uh, oh. um, I guess we'll start with you know bring the room down. Um, the sad news. Mike can talk uh, about it. It hit him hardest of all. It it did. Chester Bennington's suicide. That, God, that was not something that. Oh yeah. You just, I didn't expect it all. It was me getting ready for work. I'm like, oh, all right, let me take a shower, get ready and everything like that. Let me just check Facebook real quick. And somebody made a post, no article or anything like that. I was like, that's fucked up. Like, why would you post something like that? You No, like, damn you. And then uh, I just kept scrolling down and every other article was that it was true. And I just, oh, like, Lincoln, like, I, I enjoy music, but Lincoln Park is... Like my Eagles to you, Chris. Like that, yeah. it's the one band that yeah. I really care about. The, the one band that if they're playing around, I'm like, oh man, I'm I'm gonna try and go to that. Like the band that I can actually name the members and stuff like that. Every other band that I listen to, I may know a person or two, but I I just listen to the music just mm -hmm. to listen to music. But with Lincoln Park, it, a wee little lad in middle school. Oh yeah, it, absolutely. Uh, when it, it it definitely hit hard. I uh. I was a huge Linkin Park fan for the longest time, but once, uh, I'll be honest, once Minutes to Midnight came out, uh, it was a little too political for my taste. I don't really like like real serious like political stuff, but Linkin Park was the one, like, there's bands that we just kind of outgrow, and we just kind of stop being into, but Linkin Park was the one that, like, anytime a new CD came out, I would return just to say, or just to see if it was, if they had kind of, like, gotten heavier you know again you know but i'm a metalhead so i mean like it once their music changed and they did concerts and shows and sold cds all around the world yeah. you know so i mean like they they were incredibly impactful to this current generation and uh you know, it, unfortunately, and I don't want to tie it to this because, I mean, I, I didn't know the guy, but, you know, and it's come to light, just kind of all of his kind of issues as a child, like he was a victim of sexual abuse when he was a kid. And um, if he was having so many problems with his life, I mean, he still was able to be in Lincoln Park. Like, Lincoln Park is so big that you can actually turn to anyone and ask him if they like Linkin Park and they've heard it enough to actually form an opinion about them. Yeah. You know, whether, whether it defines them as a person or not. And I mean, to be, to come from some, such a broken past and to be able to kind of come leaps, leaps and bounds and like kind of be a superhero in the real world. Like Chester Bennington, he was in one of the Saw movies and his music was everywhere you know, like a lot of people tie Linkin Park to the Transformers movies now, and we won't know. hold that against them. <laughs> but. but yeah, my my point is, you know, like if if you think you're going through a really hard time in your life, or that you had, or, or you were done a raw deal, and like you it, things just didn't work out the way you wanted to as a kid, that does not mean you don't have any worth. Like, never let, you know your past define who you are now as a person like you can still be an artist you can still get your craft out there and you know it sucks the way it ended but i mean to have the life that chester bennington did i mean that that sounds like a victory to me yeah yeah well i mean you know talk about growing growing out of a band and lincoln park was one of those for me but mm -hmm. i do have really fond memories of hybrid theory you know yeah um 
just rock it out to that in middle school, you know, just as loud as I could with, before the parents would like be all like, you turn that shit down. Yeah. But no, um, speaking of like, you know, associating music things, Linkin Park, you know, looking at the early days of YouTube and internet video, AMVs, like if you... Yeah, we were talking about that the we were, other day. We were talking about it the other night, yeah, that uh, when you think of AMVs, you always think of like a handful of tracks from uh, Linkin Park, you in know, the with end. some, uh, <laughs> uh, usually in the end, with some <laughs> Dragon Ball Z stuff over top oh, of Oh, yeah. It. You know. Gohan is synonymous with in the end, yes. you know. So, you know, love him or hate him, Linkin Park did have a big, a big impact on oh, yeah. on music, on internet culture, on a, on a lot of things. So, you yeah. know, it, it it's sad to see, see him go that way, but you know, he had a lot of issues, and mm. un- unfortunately, that takes a lot of a lot of artists like him away. from yeah yeah it's i mean it's it's a very sad situation and obviously our thoughts and prayers are with the family and you know hopefully they can find some solace in all this but you guys are right i mean i was never the biggest fan i mean i liked Mm. their popular songs i i never went and bought the albums or anything but um i mean they were just always there they were they were just like an old buddy that you could always come back to you know Mm. hear them on the radio and and it's weird as it sounds like my mark of a good band is if I don't turn the radio when they come on. I yeah. never, you know, I never actively like change the station if they came on. So, you know, mm-hmm. thumbs up in my mind. But there you go. That's that's the sad news for tonight. So yeah, we'll, we'll move on to more. Um, but we're not going to make this a new segment. It's you know we've just had a, a few like just really impactful deaths. <laughs> you know, because yeah. I mean we we did a whole episode about Adam West. Being that it's mainly just a pop culture podcast, that we have to. Yeah. You know, like, not we're obligated to because we don't want to be assholes. As Adam West was, this room that we're sitting in right now that you're kind of seeing bits of on YouTube it w- would not exist and, like, the whole thing wouldn't exist if Adam West didn't do it first. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, like, a lot of music of today was heavily, heavily influenced, influenced by Linkin Park. Yeah. So, and especially Chester Bennington's voice. Like, good Lord. Yeah. And, and sometimes when, it, when it's something... You know, somebody or something that's influenced. You know, you've got to talk about it. It's, yeah. It it is what it is. You know, not not to say that all other deaths are not important, but you know, there are some that you know just really really hurt because they were mm-hmm. such a big part of your childhood, or even you know, kind of helped shape you as you are now. So. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. There you go, guys. That's. That's what we'll say about that. Yeah, topic. and if, yeah, if you, but honestly, guys, I mean, I, to the forty three people that listen to us, if if you're having, uh, if you have or know anyone or have anyone in your life around you, you see a guy at Quick Trip, you see a girl at you know at church or you know just wherever, and it looks like they're having a hard time, they're you know. To quote the Joker, is the thing separating uh, anyone from being him is one bad day. So that's to separate one person from madness, to separate one person from their own demise could definitely be just whatever day they're having. So just be nice to everyone. Be supportive of everyone. Show love. It goes a lot further. And, you know, just don't do not do it for the glory. Do it because, you know, every because you deserve happiness. So everyone else around you should deserve happiness too, right? So, I mean, if you don't be ashamed to like reach out to a friend, a loved one. Hell, sometimes if you just go in a room with a buddy you're comfortable with and just start talking, they don't even have to answer. Just, I mean, just get it out there. You know, like no, no one is perfect. Everyone is flawed. Every everybody has their cancer and everybody has that big thing they're trying to get over. So just, you know, if you've had those problems in your life, get, get the help you need. And if you need to talk to someone and sometimes we need a little bit of help, just talking ourselves off the ledge. And if that's what it takes to get you through another day, like your time is precious. If you're listening to this, your time is precious to you and your life is worth living. So you know, that stuff is never the answer. <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Wow, we started this one on a weird note. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, uh, Fun stuff. lighter topics. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I guess let's let's get the small the small pieces out, then we'll get to the big one. Um, a lot of cool stuff has happened lately. Yeah. The most recent thing, though, I would say, Comic Con just wrapped up um, mm-hmm. on Sunday, it is now Wednesday, so a couple days ago. Um, some big stuff coming out of it, but honestly, nothing not as big as years past. You know, mm-hmm. there there just weren't any like jaw-dropping amazing announcements yeah um and i'm gonna blame that on you know marvel disney has their own event the where D23. they they now announce like everything coming up ahead of time they show everything there uh doesn't isn't dc starting to do stuff like that or is that just with their comics uh, I mean, I, I still think they are very much for Comic Con, like still especially for their movie stuff. I mean, I I thought they were starting to branch out and doing their own thing. Well, They've got their own streaming service that's coming out and everything like that, but nothing like they don't have their own festival thing like D twenty three where they'll you know they'll set something aside like Nintendo with their Nintendo Directs and everything like that. So they're they're still very much Comic Con oriented and stuff like that, but not holding their own yeah. Warner Brothers like press conference gotcha, thing or anything gotcha, like gotcha. that. I mean, honestly, like their big announcements outside of like Comic Con have been Snyder putting something up on Twitter, like that. Yeah. That was always just kind of the way he did it. So, um, and you know, even even DC. I mean, they showed the first Aquaman trailer, the newest Justice League trailer, um, Ready Player One, which I'm incredibly excited about. The trailer. Is a little misleading if you've not read the book. Um, I'll say it was like a retro kid's dream come true. Oh, I, I, if you, if you are a child of the '80s or '90s, you need to read or listen to the book. It it's is so good. It's great. But as someone who never read it, and on it, I, I'm gonna kind of reveal myself a little bit, which that sounds bad because you can't see it, and that would probably give us more viewers, but. I had no idea that that was a book. So when I saw the trailer, I was like, what the heck is this? Yeah. We got Freddy Krueger. We got the DeLorean. We got the Iron Giant. Yeah. Like, what is going on in this movie? <laughs> um, and we, we had the A-Team van. We had yeah. Freddy Krueger. We had Duke Nukem. We had Deathstroke and Harley. Deathstroke and Harley. We had mm-hmm. Master Chief. We had um, Akira's motorcycle. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. So I there... almost fell apart on that. Yeah. I'm a his, big uh, his fan. friend or whatever, the thing that like separated its body mm-hmm. or whatever, he was using a uh, assault rifle. Yeah, Halo. Master Chief's assault yeah. rifle, which is really cool. So, yeah, it's it's crazy. Like this, if you've not read the book or don't know anything about it, it's, I mean, it is it is a love letter to the '80s. Yeah, and it's you know, what would you do if you were in a virtual reality world and you could use any anything from pop culture? to drive around in or his armor or his weapons um what would you do yeah and there you go that's what you got so um that was really cool but that to be said warner brothers as far as big announcements all they said is they're working on batgirl wonder woman 2 is coming out in 2019 mm-hmm. green lantern core still happening and suicide squad 2 that was really kind of that was kind of it nothing just a no huge like unknowable things had happened before. Uh, so. Was that where the fla- where they actually said oh, the Flash yeah, movie is going to be yeah, Flashpoint? Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Sorry, they did say. Oh, that. is it really? Mm-hmm. I didn't. I didn't it's know. It's going to follow Flashpoint, which we will not get off on this. But that has led to some speculation that if they decide that they want to recast Batman from Ben Affleck, that they can use Flashpoint as the vehicle with which to do that. So <sighs> that is that. Um, it also means that... Uh, That's a conversation for another time. It absolutely is. Uh, we, that could probably fill a whole other podcast, but we've got... Yeah, we, we have we've to We've got bigger point. fish to fry. <laughs> yeah. We do. So, uh, other big things. Obviously, comic news. Um, lots of big stuff coming down DC and Marvel. Young Justice 3, the first look at the characters. I think they look great. Um, Finally, then, we're getting Young Justice 3. So excited. Um, is that coming out on Netflix, or is that going to be on That's going to be on their, their streaming service. Um, so it's okay, because rumor was that it was coming to like Netflix or Hulu or something like that. It, originally, Netflix had picked it up for the third season, because that's what Netflix does now. But Warner Brothers has decided they're going to launch their own streaming service, and that the live-action Titans show 
and Young Justice. So that's mm-hmm. happening. That is happening. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it finally they finally officially said it's happening. And and I I cannot find anything on it, but they Except were supposed for that to make that they the showed or whatever that was like they were going to make an announcement at Comic Con and, and yeah. they they were going to like make the casting announcements for the Titan show and that never happened. So I don't know. Anyways, maybe I missed it. Maybe they changed their mind. Whatever. But um, Marvel wise, they did show the first trailer of um, the new Avengers. It was not shown to the public. It was however leaked. Um, Captain America has a beard and Black Widow's blonde. So, thumbs up. <laughs> Which, if you know the comics, Black Widow was blonde at one point. It was not Natasha Romanoff. It was huh. Yavanna something different last name. That was the blonde uh... Black Widow. And then um, the rumor is that that Steve Rogers will not be Captain America. He will be going under the Nomad. alias of either Nomad or the Agent... So, um, which are monikers he used when he wasn't, when he got mad at the government, the government and decided not to be it. that. So, um, but his look is very nomadish. So yeah. that's kind of cool. I mean, it, it's going to be big in scale. I, I, I'm hesitant about how they can possibly fit so many characters into what is looking to be a two and a half hour plus movie. They said it will be the longest yeah. Marvel movie. Is it not going to be two movies And now? Thor is supposed to be the shortest one, right? That does not upset me at all. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I mean, they're doing two Avengers right. movies, but they're not like... Yeah. So I assume it will be a continuation. That was my understanding. Okay. Um, that's that's how I understood it. Mm. Yeah. But I mean, th- I think they said there's going to be something like 40 or 50 main characters in it. That one? Yeah. L- Yelena Bolova. Bolova. Yeah. Very Russian name, so. Yeah. Man, um, is that gonna? I I just wonder how that's gonna work. Like, are there gonna be any? Is is there gonna be a single person who's just like, uh, stand in number two? <laughs> you know, that's like it's just basically not already a Marvel character. Like every sing, that's gonna be the first movie where like every person on screen is a Marvel is character. a Marvel character. Yeah. And I think that's going to be a problem because especially some of the characters that are only good because of their personality. Yeah. How how exactly are they going to stand out? Yeah. Um you know, because if you actually read like the Infinity Gauntlet like mm-hmm. basically all it is is like every single Marvel, you know, he, you know, hero villain just attacking Thanos and just getting their asses whooped yeah, for, yeah. you know, however many pages. I mean, the the best part of that story was, like, watching them all die. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, look, Cyclops just got his head trapped in a plastic box, and now he's dead. Mm-hmm. Spidey just got his brain, brains bashed in by yeah. uh, Nebula. But, you know, how... Will that be interesting enough, you know? Obviously, they've got to do something more than that. Because... Besides, like, how it ends, to me, there wasn't a whole hell of a lot of story elements to it. Yeah, it was very... It was it was the first gimmick book. I mean, yeah. really, it was the first event just based around one thing. Um, we'll see what happens. I uh, And has anyone died yet? <laughs> they, they have said that there will be deaths, that there okay. are consequences now, and that people will die. So... Well, because they've already said this is the end of this current era of Marvel, yeah. you know, movies. Where, yeah. And then everything will sh- take a new shift. Hopefully for the good. Hopefully less Guardians. Mm-hmm. More, um, more Cap. Yes. I hope you're right. But the that Guardians being said... Guardians are going to be all over this. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the footage, I don't know if you guys have seen it. Yeah. Um, I'd say the very first thing they showed was the, the Guardians, Guardians running into Thor. Yeah. Yeah. Which I feel like is kind of got to be at least a little bit of a spoiler for Thor. how Thor goes. Yeah. Um, but speaking of Thor, we got the Thor trailer. Uh, I know people that are incredibly excited about this. Um, I don't know if any of us in this room are particularly excited I, about it. I, like with Marvel movies, I, I've kind of gotten to a point where like I'll watch the first couple trailers and then I will just kind of go on like a... A trailer blackout like anything that comes up on it because it'll just kind of be a deterrent and we'll get more into this later but i mean like with spider-man like i i, I was really stoked about it and then the more i saw on it the more i saw on it the the kind of less i wanted to see it you know so like this thor movie it, it looks good but with a name like ragnarok i was thinking something a little bit darker in tone but um 
and it, that that's just me i don't know call it call it bias if you want but yeah that's just me kind of like kind of wishing for a little bit darker and it just kind of seems like where we're going with the marvel movies now is they're just like comic relief movies no pun intended well like they're well, just it's the the destruction of asgard and the trailer that they show is thor and hulk just cracking jokes at each other yeah we were in a fight i won easy ha 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 that's the thing the first avengers had plenty of humor yeah but it also had some emotion to it i mean when when thor's standing in the field and the hammer's down, and, like, the Avengers are just, they're broken, they're scattered. Like, you kind of felt something. Yeah. And and then, like, when they finally, like, pulled together, like, you, you kind of rooted for them. And there was actual... I love the first way to it, yeah. Yeah. When, when Coulson went down, like, you felt bad. Yeah. You know? But when everything went wrong, it, it felt bad. And now they have moved so far away from that to where it's just... Goofy. Just goofy. Well, and I feel like Guardians... Is where I've stopped liking, you know. Well, when did when did Winter Soldier come out? After Guardians, I feel like yeah, that yes. was the last good Marvel movie. It was the best Marvel movie. You know, it, every, everything since Guardians is just let's fit as many jokes in here as we can. Yeah. Let's not worry about story development. Yeah. Let's let's these these villains have no consequences in the world. You know, mm-hmm. it's just what are we doing? Like, there's just, as movies, they're just kind of falling apart. It's like, because Guardians made a billion dollars almost domestically, Mm -hmm. now everything has to be like it, has to look like it, has to, you know, force its way to take time out of its way to tell a dumb joke where we could actually have, like, a meaningful conversation with these characters. Yeah. It just kind of feels like all the Marvel movies have started to follow like a speci- very specific template and, and, and a very specific rhythm. And that's the problem with Disney. And that's what I'm <laughs> afraid of with Star Wars right now. Yeah. Is we're going to keep following the same crap over and over again. Yeah. Because that makes money. They yeah. don't make... People say they're good movies. They're not. They, yeah. They, they're crap now. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's popcorn crap. It's, you know... It is what it is, because all of them yeah. have felt the same, except for Ant Man, maybe. That Never felt, saw Ant Man. That felt that had a little bit of a different tone and pace to it, but at the same time, it was starting to go that way. But yeah, it, where they're just joking, where you know, I was really pumped up because you know it actually looked like Thor that was gonna have a darker tone that looked like it was gonna have yeah. consequences, but you know, you got Hulk. Who, what the heck did they do art art style with Hulk, you know? <laughs> he looks so weird now. I think it was Mike who pointed it out to yep. me. Like, they made him look more like... No, they, they took Ruffalo's face and they, like... Yeah. They morphed it into Hulk. Instead of having Hulk just be this Hulkish figure, it's now like, all right, let's take Ruffalo's face and just... Paint it green. Paint it green and everything like that. Slap make some it CG effects on it and stuff like that. And mm. now, he's, now he's Hulk, like... And it looks so freaking weird. Yeah, it does not look good. And this, I mean, for Ragnarok, the whole Ragnarok storyline from the comics is is the death of the Asgardians. I mean, it, it's, yeah. it's their end times. It is... It's Ragnarok. It is death, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it should be handled with, you know, with some weight and be, like, an emotional story. That and maybe it's a curve, but... But them sitting there, I'm fire. I'm a bigger fire. Ha, ha, ha. That, yeah. That, that's not what I want to see. And... I'm really just saying this for the three of you in the room because the people that listen to this don't know me that well. Mm. You guys know that I I swing very biased to something else, and I'm not going <laughs> to talk about that. I just I want Marvel to be good. I I I love Marvel. I mm. love the first Thor movie. I thought it was criminally underrated. I thought it was great. I think Hemsworth is a fantastic Thor, and I, I want this to be good. I just yeah. don't want it to be corny. I don't want it to be goofy. I don't want it to be Spider Man three. Yeah, that's what I don't want, and that's why I keep saying that I would want a few of these to flop, just just so Disney's like, yeah, we can't just keep doing the same thing over and over again because mm. people are getting tired of this. They've gotten lazy. Well, they they've gotten to the point where they can pretty much put in an algorithm, crap out a script, and yeah. know it's going to print money. Yeah, you know, and, and that's a problem. They're getting too comfortable with this. Yeah, and I mean, who's to say they're not doing it right? Because it's, you know, it's so incredibly marketable. But I'm worried we're going to end up going down, like, the, the same route as the Transformers movies did. Where, like, the first one was, like, actually pretty, like, okay. 
yeah, I don't like the way they look, but hell, it was an alright movie. And then by the second one, like, no one cared. If you, if you want to watch the funny video, uh, look up Red Letter Media. Mm-hmm. And basically, it's these guys, and they're watching the first three Transformers movie, like, on, like, three monitors yeah. at the same time. And, like, beat for beat to for beat, like, same thing was happening. Yeah. So, and I feel like this is happening to Marvel, but, you know. And that's kind of where I was, like, when I heard about Black Panther, I was like, cool, a Marvel movie. Like, it's probably going to be a lot like Doctor Strange as far as, like, rhythmic. He's like, take, guy, you know, guy doesn't know what to do with himself, guy gets into power, guy cracks some jokes, and guy has a moment where he realizes he's a hero, all at the same time the villain is kind of in the background and not really showing himself to be, like, a real dangerous guy until the end of the movie, and that's when, you know, the great hero comes, and then they do the hero shot of him, like, jumping through the city, credits, and then show, do a name drop, and we're done. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, that. that's that's how they just feel. I, I, I don't think you're wrong. I, yeah. You know, I, I have no allegiance to either of these brands. I'm just a fan of movies. And yeah. To me, like, Marvel has just consistently let me down lately. Yeah, I mean, this this Thor movie, like, I'm, I'm going to go see it. Oh, I'm, I'm very excited I'm to see it. I'm absolutely going to give it a chance. Because but... I, I'm, I'm actually a pretty big Hulk fan. I mean, like, I haven't read a whole lot of stuff that I, I really liked as far as Hulk goes. But, you know, I think he's had better stories than Planet Hulk. But, um, but you know, just this Thor movie doesn't feel like a Thor movie. It just kind of feels like they're like, hey, do you like this? Do you like the 80s? Do you do you like, you know, Immigration Song? Like, like, and we do like those things. So it kind of just, it's, I don't know. It, it basically feels like they're sitting me down with the movie and instead of giving me like a real character, they're just saying like, hey, you know what's great? Pizza. You know what else is great? Music. Pizza and music is awesome together. Did you ever play Sega? Oh, Sega was great. Well, okay, well, we're done with the movie. Uh, South Park, <laughs> you know? as much as people crapped on this season, the member, like the season the with the berries. member berries on it, mm-hmm. has nailed that point, like, perfectly. Yeah. And it's just, no, it, we're, we're headed to basically seeing the same crap over and over again. Yeah. And something's got to give. Yeah. And hopefully Infinity Gauntlet, after that, they'll move on to a new direction. Mm-hmm. You know, and as much as I've crapped on the DC films, at least they're trying something different. Yeah. They're not what... Okay, yeah. Well, but we're just going to... I was going to say they're not well-liked by everyone, but they're at least trying something different. Exactly. Yeah. So, okay, that was our little diatribe on... uh... (laughs) Marvel and how much we love it. <laughs> um, uh, man, we gotta stop crapping on these movies. But I mean, it's kind of. I, I don't know. They're just not for me. Like I mean, I'm excited and I love it. And uh, well, going, when look. I took my mom to see Guardians of the Galaxy two, God, I was loving watching this. You know, elder lady, just be so. I mean. I'm, Classic lady. Yeah. <laughs> They're like the only thing she's ever really been hardcore about was Star Trek, you know? And I mean, that was like, about, I mean, the first William Shatner Star Trek was about as futuristic as she got. But Guardians of the Galaxy, my mom, who's obviously she's my mom, she, I've got a, she's got a few years on me. I look over and she is 12 years old watching this movie. And I can see it. Like, she is a little girl. She's like, excited she's on the edge of her seat she's laughing every single song that comes on it was like seeing like taking your kid to see the wiggles you know it's like she was just throw out a wiggle (laughs) yeah yeah i'm just saying like she was singing along 1940s (laughs) she she was singing along to every single song she was right there with every i mean kurt russell is just chilling out on the screen and she thinks oh he's such a handsome boy when he's dude's got silver hair, big beard, wrinkled skin, she's like he's such a handsome boy, and she is all about this movie. And I'm looking over and like where you know it's a it's a mom, so you see the moments where you know when the sad part happens, you look over and mom's probably crying. But no, it was like the middle of the movie, like second, uh, second part of the movie, second act. And I'm looking over at her, and she's already crying because she's just so 
passionately involved with this and she's wanting everything to work out and she's happy that like no one dies in the end but that meant the world to me like i mean she but me being like the comic book nerd i'm just like okay that was just a a bunch of like sophomore jokes and look like nothing happened two things two two little points to this that i'm just gonna throw out there these movies aren't made for us (laughs) they're not yeah i mean I, I'm a comic book guy. I've been a comic book guy for a very long time. I'm kind of snobby about it. These movies aren't made for, for what I want a movie to be. Yeah. They're made for kids. And they're made for the kids' parents. And they're made to be a two-hour escape from reality. Mm-hmm. But here's the most important thing. Ladies and gentlemen, everything we've said tonight is what we think, what we feel. Yeah, what our we, opinion. What we complain about when we're recording we're not recording but at the end of the day guess what we go see all these movies Mm. we spend our hard earned money to see these movies we just spent the past 10 minutes dogging on the Thor trailer (laughs) and finish it off by saying we'll still go see it yeah because hopefully it'll be good so we can talk about how crappy something is all we want we still spend our money on it as long as we're spending our money on it they're going to keep making them well yeah as long as they're making a billion dollars you think Anybody gives a damn if there's a dancing raccoon or, or a, a bunch turd of comic that snobs. punches a, yeah. yeah. My our opinion means zero. It means less than zero. So that being said, let's just all agree that we live in the greatest time we could when it comes to comic book movies. I mean I Good grew Lord. up in the nineties. When I, there was, I was no say, we had the X Men cartoon and Batman animated. Yeah. The end. <laughs> and Spider Man and the yeah. you know the Radioactive Spider-Man. Yeah. Like the, the, that, that's what we had. We had Saturday afternoon cartoons. We mm-hmm. didn't have these two-hour thralling things that our parents would be proud to take us to see yeah. that our parents could get into. Yep. We had cartoons, and we had freaking those trading cards. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Know? I so. mean, we never thought that we would see Captain Amer- or Thor and Spider-Man, or Spider-Man and Captain America on screen together. Oh, yeah. We got Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman in the same movie. Yeah. I mean, that was one of the biggest things. Just that image of three of them together was amazing. You know, we, we have Rocket Raccoon has been in two movies. Mm-hmm. And now he's a household name. That, that It's it's a great time to be alive. Look, yeah. whether you love him, whether you hate him, whether you think we're just a bunch of jackasses that are bitter about our oatmeal being the wrong flavor, mm-hmm. we live in a great time. Well, and to be fair, if I wanted a serious story, a darker story, I can... I have the option of going to Netflix and watching the amazing work they're doing there. Yeah, good luck. You know, I just finished up, you know, Daredevil 2 finally. And and what, two weeks we get the Defenders? Yeah. 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 That was another thing. We got the trailer for Defenders. That was pretty great. Oh, did we get a new trailer for Defenders? Yeah. But here, in in, I Hate the Big Bang Theory, I think it's one of the worst shows on TV. I'm not going to get into that, but I will quote this. These comic book movies are like pizza. Even when it's bad, it's still good because it's pizza. I mean, yeah. I would still rather watch a crappy Marvel movie than just about any other movie out there. Yeah. So, saying they're bad is, is holding it to an impossibly high standard mm-hmm. that nothing else even comes close to. So, even if we say Thor looks, you know, <laughs> stupid, it still looks better than everything else out there in my opinion. Yeah. And when Oscar season comes around and... Lolita's lost my football, wins best picture, <laughs> something stupid. I'm going to be pissed off that Thor didn't win an Oscar. Yeah. That's just me. So I, I hate something that I love, and I love it even if I hate it. There you go. You know, and probably the the real reason we're crying is we've gotten too much, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. like, it's like I'm crying because I've got too many presents at Christmas. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very true. So, so, Especially with his birthday. Yeah. 37 last year I had... <laughs> Uh, but with that analogy, we're crying because we got too many, too many presents at Christmas. Every present is connected to the other one. Okay, so by the time you open the fourth one, you pretty much know what the fifth one is going to be. Exactly. You know, so after a while, there's only so many times you can go, "Whoa, no way!" Then it's going to turn into, "Oh, uh, nice." Cool. Eventually, it's going to turn into like a hell yeah. That, that right. video of the kid getting the Nintendo 64 for Christmas. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> well, like the, the one most that, famous like, one. Yeah, say like the one Tosh that, like, the whole video, yeah, like, Tosh.0 and everything like yeah. that. Oh, oh, oh my like, God! Just, yeah, like, I mean, that's... 
basically the way I was with the Switch and everything like that. Like, yeah. it just, it, you know, there was that level of excitement, and now we know what we're going to expect from it and everything like that. Sure. It's not going to be yeah. the serious thing that we want it to be, but it's still going to be better than watching some other movie that's coming out, except mm-hmm. for it and The Dark Tower. Oh, so. we'll get there. Don't worry. <laughs> Spoiler alert, folks. We're going to do an episode, an issue, just on it and Dark Tower. And August and Cody will probably sit there quietly in the corner waiting for it to be over. Hey, I've listened to the first Dark Tower book, by the way. I've got the others on download that I just needed to cool down so I can go to the park and uh, walk around and listen to them. Man up. Just go. Way to bail on me in my, like, ignorance of Dark Tower. (laughs) Fine. Then Cody just sit there quietly. (laughs) No, I will sit there and be like, look at that goat. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, get all my pion pion Americas. Yeah. Anyways. So, we said something about Netflix earlier. Do you know what else they showed at Comic-Con? The trailer for Stranger Things Season 2. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, and Rocco's Modern Life. And Rocco's Modern I, Life. I didn't want to say that, because that's kind of exciting. It's the dirtiest kids cartoon <laughs> from the 90s. Yeah, I'm kind of yeah. wondering if they're going to... I know we're trying to get into Stranger Things, but I just wanted to throw that out there. I, I'm gonna... worried with the kind of PC culture we've got. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That they're going to hold back a lot. Oh, they, they're not going to be able to get away with a lot of the stuff they do. Oh, spanking the monkey and the, the sex thing. Oh, the baby, sex oh slime. Baby. Yeah. yeah, oh, baby, oh, baby. And Spunky getting down with a mop. Like, I mean... <laughs> Gosh. And just I... being named Spunky. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah. Anyway. And the... Uh, yeah, they, I mean, the, the fast food place they always go to is Chokey's Chicken. And... <laughs> I... I, I, you guys are a little bit older than me, so I mean, when I was watching Rocco's Modern Life, I was dead just completely over my head, and then going back to it, just like, huh. Yeah, yeah it's like, uh, no wonder my mom did not like this <laughs> show. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I, I was just that age, I was like, something's not right about this. I don't know what it is. Yeah. And the, my parents are laughing. I was, I was below that. It just something. completely went over my head. It was just, it was a cartoon that was on. It was like, hey, you know, cartoons, it's yeah. better than watching. The news and everything like that. Yeah. So it just completely went over my See, head. dude, when those, when the Nicktoons were out there, there were, like, uh, they, I remember as a kid watching this thing, because you remember when they used to do cartoons, we're going way off on a tangent now, but when they used to do cartoons, there once in a while they'd have that one episode that wasn't even a cartoon, it was like the making of, like, behind the scenes episode. Like, they had one for the Rugrats, and it was basically saying, like, there were some adult jokes in there that, like, only adults would get. Like, Grandpa, like, renting the space porno. Yeah. And, yeah, and having the space porno, and he's like, oh, this is for after you kids go to bed. Yeah. And that, that wouldn't try to be racy or, like, subliminally teach kids anything. That was just because, you know, they, they were kids were sitting there with their parents, you know? So, yeah. like, I thought when you saw a racy joke, I was like, oh, there's a joke for Dad. But in Rocco's Modern Life, when they go camping and Rocco goes to, like, pick berries... And he like goes over to a bush and goes to pick a berry, and this wolf comes running out holding his genitals because Rocco just pulled on his nuts. <laughs> so he's now going totally back, and, yeah, you go that. back and watch that, knowing that what Rocco is grabbing right there is a cartoon testicle. <laughs> oh my god! I was like, oh crap! I should not be watching this. It Can't wait for so another funny. episode. Yeah. So fun tangent, but let's get yeah. back to what we saw: Stranger Things season two. Holy crap. That Holy was the crap. best trailer I saw at a Comic-Con hands I mean, really, the best thing about it was there was an arcade Thriller? there. Yeah. Dude. That that just made me just oh, miss Oh, when he miss started talking, so I was like, it's thrilling. That's, yeah, the freaking oh, Vincent doing... freaking Price. Yeah. Darkness falls across the land. I was just like, oh my God, yes. This and is so perfect. Yeah, and they're oh. cruising around. Oh, man. And just that scene when they're at the arcade. And, and like oh, wait, dragon's yeah, a yeah. dragon's lair, oh, dragon's lair dude. yeah, yeah. And speaking of dragon's lair, yeah, chompers over there wouldn't have ruined for it for us. Last <laughs> oh time God, we were in Arkansas, yeah. I had planned <sighs> on sitting there and beating dragon's lair <laughs> back to the yeah, back yeah. to the show. I will, I will take you back there, and I will, we will, we will make that happen. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. We all need to go there sometime. We should do we should do a live like video podcast there. Dude, we totally could. Yeah, That'd be awesome. we'll uh, we'll do some. That'd be. But, we'll twitch it. Yeah. Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. But no, like when Will is like they're chilling out in the arcade playing Dragon's Lair, and then he gets just sucked into the Upside Down, and then just walks outside, and the red lightning, and you see that gigantic like Cloverfield monster, just like the lightning flashes behind him, and he just looks over at him. 
dude, I watched that scene so many times because that that's what my nightmares used to be is like looking up and seeing like that's why I'm a Godzilla fan like seeing a giant beast like just in the darkness there like that's Cthulhu that's Godzilla that's King Kong so I'm and doing that and then like just the thriller song amping up throughout the trailer and then ending you know and they're running around in Ghostbusters uniform and they catch something in the in the ghost trap. Yeah, and like, what is it? Yeah, and then wrapping up with Eleven coming back from the Upside Down, like, oh man, I cannot wait for this show. You know, God bless Netflix for just throwing money at things and saying, <laughs> yeah. make your passion passion project, where, yeah. where TV won't let you do this, we will, and you can tell just by the trailer, you know, the creators really care about this thing. You oh, know, yeah. just the tone of it, the pacing of it, just the mm-hmm. where they cut and, you know, what yeah. they showed. You could tell they actually care about yeah. what they're making. Yeah. And, you know, God, you know, there's no way you would see this on TV because mm-hmm. it's just something so risky that you don't know if it's going to do well. But where Netflix, you know, they've already got their money up front. They're yeah. not making it off ad revenue. So yeah. you might as well throw it at every creator who's got a passion yeah. project. Yeah. And I mean, just seeing like that, that scene where Will is saying like he, he's telling his mom he he's getting sucked in and he's hearing voices and he, he de- it doesn't want him. It wants everyone else. And he's like crying his eyes out. And if you watch the first season of Stranger Things, like, you know, all the horrible stuff that his family has gone through with him getting sucked into the upside down and like his mom, Winona Ryder, like not being able to find him while the world thinks she's going nuts and like actually like figuring out what's going on. So, I mean, now he's there with her and it's coming for him and she can't do anything. I mean, just basically reinvented the wheel as far as like a helpless mom goes when they already invented the wheel as far as helpless moms go. Dude, it, there's just, Oh man. No, I am so excited for October (laughs) to come so I can rewatch the Mm. first season so one, I can catch, you know, start looking for the minor details. Mm-hmm. And number two, once season two comes out, it's just fresh on the brain. Oh, yeah. So, you know, it, the connections are just there. Yeah. I, mm, 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 mm. It's going to be glorious. Not Bobby Roode glorious, but real glorious. <laughs> glorious. Glorious. So, you know what else I've been, since you said that, August, uh, Something I've been watching through to get it fresh on the brain, and now I'm really excited that I did. Bum bum ba da dum bum ba da dum bum ba da dum dum. Yeah. Game of Thrones. It took forever, but it is finally back. Yeah, but and we've only got like what five, seven episodes left. You shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, and it makes me ner- It's it's this show is finally making me nervous since we're out of source material. Yeah, we have no idea what's going I, I, I don't know. Uncharted Waters. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's I A could, nuke could go off, and then the book would come out and be like, so this is what happened and yeah. everything. Like, you know, I, I can't watch people on the room's reaction, you know, like at certain points anymore where it's just like, it, it's killing me not to know what's, what's about to happen because, yeah. you know, every conversation could end up with somebody dead. Yeah. And it still feels this way. It's like, who's turning on who... Uh, the biggest question for me, where the hell is Ghost? Yeah, thank you. Where is Ghost? <laughs> Want there, to know. When we he, sat he got and, caught in the trap from uh, Stranger Things. Maybe that's what he's at. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I, when I watched this last episode and the wolf scene happened. Yeah. Like, right before it happened, like, I, I thought we were in uncharted territory, but I, I I was sitting close to Chris, and I saw Chris be like, oh, here we go with the wolves. And that scene happened, and I was like, I remember thinking, okay, Chris knows what's about to happen. So that means one of two things. One, it's that we're not in uncharted waters yet, and he's read this part of the book. Or two, Batman's about to show up. Because that's the only go. way Chris knows about this. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. So, well, in in that in in hey, right now, gonna get into a little bit of spoilery stuff. So if if you're not caught up, if you don't want to know, fast forward. One, two, three, go. Okay. So in the books, Nymeria is is in it 
every book really every book because uh aria has what they call wolf dreams yeah. or basically her going into nymeria yeah. as Jon snow did all, all the starks are wargs to a small degree and they will have the wolf dreams where they're actually going into their dire wolf obviously if their dire wolf is still alive um <laughs> so yeah and, and even in the book Arya has the dream of basically pulling Catelyn. Does she have the dream of it, or does Nymeria just do it? I, I, I think she has the dream of it. There, there are like sections in the book where they talk about how this giant wolf is leading packs of wolves, and they're just, you know, raising hell all over the kingdom. Yeah, like it's it's crazy, but they're this, like you just hear like this huge pack of wolves is coming and just killing, led by this giant one. So you know it's her, and you know that at some point. Like, where we are in the book, we have no idea. In, in yeah. the book, she's not met up with Arya. Yeah. Like, at this point. Because Arya is still overseas, right? Arya's still blind in the book. Yes, oh, she really? is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with well, the book in, she's still blind. Yeah, you're right. I'm pretty sure she's still blind. I thought she finally, they he finally gave gave uh, her eyes back, but I don't remember. But Maybe, even even if she did, she's still Still at there. the House she, of Black yeah, and White. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because it, some of the chapters is really confusing because it's her, but she's got a different name, so it takes a while for you to know that it's her. But, right. Yeah. Um, but yes, the biggest question is where in the hell is Ghost? Because things never go good once they you know, the abandon their, their dire wolf. wolf. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I mean, he survived the Battle of the Bastards without Ghost, so I Ghost wasn't there. wasn't there. Ghost has not been around for quite a while, and I don't know. And they didn't kill him when they killed Jon Snow, right? No. Because he was there in the room, remember, like he was laying on him, and he was there when he, he came back. He was guarding him, right. Yeah. So, because in the book, still spoilery, the book basically ends with John getting stabbed, and the last thing he says is ghost. So, like, the resurrection stuff has not happened in the book. So, yeah. technically, the, he, he could, could just still, be dead, yeah. and they could never bring him back if they wanted to. So, yeah. But that all being said... Okay, pull him back from the spoiler stuff. Yeah. Three, two, one... Hey, hey! Back. <laughs> non-spoiler. The show's getting crazy. We got we got yeah. dragons in Westeros now. We got Kim dolls getting lucky. We got <laughs> we we got the uh, you know we got the people from the Iron Islands actually doing something interesting. Theon, yeah, can you, you little believe that? Piece of crap. Theon's <laughs> still a little wuss after you thought, oh man, he's finally gonna redeem himself. Nope. Yeah. Nope. He did something a little bit wussy. The Sand Snakes are. Uh... Well, they did. Holy crap! Yeah, I did not see that coming so early. Yeah. yeah. Um. I guess we're not done with spoiler stuff. <laughs> I, oops. Well, you saw it in the show. Um. Jora getting uh getting the world's worst sunburn removed. Yeah, uh, that was pretty oh icky. God. Oh my goodness, man! Everything what is... with Sam has been so the, Yeah, I, was saying yeah, that I know. Those, those transitions with Sam of his daily routine to some dude eating like chunky uh, chowder. <laughs> he like, and then uh, removing the sunburn there, and then it just cut into some freaking like pot pie thing where it just <laughs> yeah, and it's just like, oh god. I swear, people started making the jokes like they might as well change this show to like games of dicks and titties. <laughs> You know, because that's all there was is titties and dicks, you know, <laughs> but I feel like they're just like, okay, okay, you think it's all about titties? Cool. Here's Here a you turd. go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's a, more poop that you could build a wall out of, the, out of old men just laying down, just pooping. Yeah. For some reason, you lay down when you poop in Westeros. <laughs> so, <laughs> Have you ever tried it? Uh, no, but I kind of want to. Then don't knock it till you tried it. <laughs> yeah, poor Sam, I'll dude. Let, is. I'll, I'll let you know tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you talking on purpose? <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. I mean, if we're talking accidental, then, then that's probably not fun for anybody. Because but... well, No, I mean, because there is a football term known as shitting the bed. That term can only exist of... You know, if somebody one has way. actually shit the bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, not just one person. That A lot of people have to do that. For it to become like a common it has thing to, be a to say, effort thing. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> maximum effort, yeah. maximum <laughs> effort. So yeah, so there you go. Game of Thrones has been pretty amazing. Um, Arya's heading north, which just warms my heart. But John's heading <laughs> south. south, east, south. Oh, east. but he's going to see the Queen and Dragons, man. Like, they're finally gonna meet, and they're gonna hook up, and they're related, and it's gonna be weird. But we're all gonna be happy about it anyways. So mm-hmm. if it's okay for Cersei and Jaime to bump uglies, then. Half brother sisters can do whatever they gotta do. So, 
No oh, man, and the whole, all the stuff with Jamie and Aaron or whatever his name is. Euron. Euron. Ooh, Euron. Yeah. Good lord, Euron is he's gonna he's be pretty a pretty dang sassy. Yeah. yeah he is. <laughs> uh. Rowing around on the SS sass wagon. <laughs> That's what his ship is called. That is. Like his ship is pretty cool looking with like the sails. Oh, like, yeah. look. Oh, man. Yeah. When the lightning flashes and you see it, I was like, oh. That was terrifying. Things you know, because in the book, like everything to do with him and the Iron Islands is so boring and tedious. Yeah. Where... I mean, it's more boring than listening to us talk for yes. an hour. And I mean, that is, that's saying something. Mm-hmm. So. So, oh, yeah, the ca- Captain Hot Topic is just killing it right yeah, now. Yeah, so I'm glad they're actually doing something with with that so Game of Thrones you know what else oozes like um, like a dragon scale wound hmm. ink out of a gun in Splatoon Splatoon that was the best Splatoon transition I could go kids. with I don't know So. well alright Mike you have the con uh, we, we finally got Nintendo's latest game for the Switch Splatoon 2 uh, I really didn't play much of the first one because I don't think anybody in this room aside from me had maybe Augie. No, I, I, I loved Splatoon 1. It's... Okay, yeah, no, yeah, you've played it. I We really didn't know each other at that point, so I didn't have anyone to play with. So, like most multiplayer games, it's a lot better if you've got at least one to two people to team up with and everything like that. So you know somebody's always going to have your back or what have you. and You know, somebody's at least halfway competent. Yeah, you know you're not just... Uh, playing with a bunch of people that are just running in circles with, yeah you know looking at the ground and stuff and uh or you know they didn't get this load out so they're just gonna sit there and pout throughout the entire match and not do anything uh so i didn't play too much of the first one i and actually I was kept really... track of exactly how much i played of the first one like i can tell you the exact amount of time i played and you two, pouted when you didn't seconds. get your load out you still zero. played it though yeah okay that's i was i was thinking zero but i didn't yeah. I don't want to be like, Zero, you're like, ha ha, no, I was over at Jim's one day, and we played it for 30 seconds before something <laughs> happened. No. <laughs> no, but, um, I mean, it's a lot of fun. Uh, the local multiplayer that we did had some issues and stuff like that, not nearly as much as Mario Kart. Um, and then the online stuff that we got to do and everything like that. <sighs> having fun with it i I mean it's a fun game it's a it's a good take it's a good take on a shooter game it's very nintendo in that way but it's super creative and it's just fun it's simple and fun yeah it's it's something that you can you can easily just suck the hours away just like Fortnite is for us like you can like you start it up and it's just something so casual that you can play and have fun with that five hours go by and you're like oh damn okay all right time to play something else and the thing is is it's there's not a lot to it for multiplayer like they have rotations of the maps like every other hour yeah but it's two maps per hour so but then again i feel like i get good at a map after a while yeah you know so and, uh, i'm not, like jumping around map to map where it like with the with the maps that they have with splatoon it's not like maps with call of duty that you play like high rise or whatever like two times in a row and it's like Ah, uh, this map again. Like this is what the map everyone voted for, but um, it's just, it's been a lot of fun. Um, it's something that uh, we started streaming with and everything like that. So that was kind of our first test stream and everything. <laughs> uh, and we'll we'll try and edit it and everything like that and get it up on YouTube for you guys so you can see uh, see how awesome we are at uh, yeah. Splatoon. See us <laughs> play video games. <laughs> um, no, but I, I I love it. I'm really excited for it. Um, and then, I mean, this will last until August 25th, at least, till uh, Mario and Rabbids come out. And then I will yeah. uh, fall in love with that game. God, what what a weird time we're in. <laughs> Where Nintendo's, A, putting things out, and number two, they're teaming up with the Rabbids. Oh, man. I'd much, I'd much rather see different team-ups, but I'm not disappointed in this team-up. Like, uh, now that Mario I've finally the seen gun. the game... Yeah. yeah, Mario with the damn gun. Yeah. Like... Miyamoto He's, said that would never happen. Yeah, no, and that's like, he was like, no, yeah, you know, you guys you, you guys can make a Mario game and everything like that. He doesn't jump, though. I make him jump. Like, really? That's my <laughs> thing. Like, <laughs> I didn't know so, that. Joke. Yeah, like, you know, it's, they, they don't want, if they do collaborations like this where they will allow people like Ubisoft to use Mario, they don't want them to be like, okay, we have Mario, let's make a Mario game. Nintendo makes the Mario games. They're letting you use Mario for a face of something to create something new and something fun. So 
Yeah, it was it was the it was an interview during E three or whatever where he's like, Oh yeah, you know, you guys have fun with it, but don't don't make him jump. I make him jump. Yeah. The jumping is mine. That's adorable. So yeah. That's like someone being like, I wanna do a Batman thing and like Bill Finger being like, Okay, well if he has a single belt <laughs> I draw the belt you're asking. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'll allow it. <laughs> so yeah, so Splatoon's pretty fun. Um, I, I don't even really want to get into the the train wreck, which is their app chat thing. I haven't actually used a chat feature. There's some kind of cool things about it, like it keeps track of your stats and stuff, and you can the, also buy like some exclusive things from it. The for your character, the headset thing that they have with it hasn't even come out yet. I know because I was looking for it, and it's not here in the states yet, is it? I, I have no idea. I can't tell you how many countless people that have come up to me been like, "Hey, do you guys have the headset in?" I, I pre-ordered it on Amazon, but it's it's not up for shipment yet. Like they haven't shipped it out or anything like that. I'm, I was like, I'm surprised I haven't seen. Like I know it's coming, but I'm surprised that I I thought it was going to be released within like the release date of Splatoon two, or within like a week or so, and nothing. So there's really, I mean, they've got the app out, but they don't have the headset for everybody basically i mean i guess i don't know it's if you look on ig and stuff like that you'll see the giant confundled mess of using your phone with this one wire connected to this adapter which is connected to the other adapter which you connect to your <laughs> switch which then is connected to this wire and don't let your phone go into sleep mode or it kicks you out of the chat and everything <laughs> and you can't go to another thing and notifications like well you interrupt know, it and yeah, yeah. Hopefully they'll get that stuff fixed. I remember time in Pokemon Go, you couldn't have music playing. Like you open the app, it'd kill your music. Yeah, what that's heck? true. I know it's my antic, but you know, still got Nintendo's name on it somewhere. So, speaking of Go, Legendaries are out now. Yep. I want to talk we'll, about that. Yep. Uh, we'll just uh, leave it at that. That that is a thing now, but uh, just you know, leave it to Niantic to be sitting on something this big, and then they just drop the ball on it. Well, they dropped two big balls this week. Yeah, yeah they did. <laughs> I feel like Niantic, maybe this, this is just me, but I feel like Ni- Niantic, or Niant, however you say it, is like the very, very clean girlfriend of Chris, my phone right now. Cody, it's pronounced Garba. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I, I feel like it's the needy girlfriend of the apps on my phone. Like, I, it keeps updating and telling me i got to delete stuff, and then I finally got to a good point, and I was like, okay, I haven't done any apps on it lately. Uh, Destiny 2 is about to come out, so like, I just get amped up for that. We'll go on that another night, because, I mean, we got a lot to say about that. But, I mean, so I re-downloaded the app so I could, you know, keep track of Xur and, like, figure out what all the vendors have and see where my guy's at. I had that app on my phone one day, and the next day... Pokemon Go was like, hey, we need an update. You got to delete Destiny. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I can't, I can't be friends with other apps. Yeah, no, that's it. That's exactly. Yeah, what that's it is. my wife right now. She's in the market for a new phone, but her, because of how much space OSs take nowadays. Yeah. Um, I thought you were saying Pokemon Go was your wife. I yes. It, no, no, Pokemon. I, I'm that's married second Pokemon wife. Go. Yeah. Isn't all of our wives? No, bit? but she's literally <laughs> downloading apps so she can download the updates for Pokemon Go. Yeah. So we're we're in the we're in the market for new phones right now. So. So if anybody has a for phone Pokemon they want to give Go. us, uh, <laughs> if anybody wants to give the uh, give iPhone the Seven Red to. Uh, the core we'll, uh, we'll gladly take that for you. You can write that off as a terrible donation. Yeah. Hey, Apple, if you give us one, we'll plug you. And, uh, I mean, that's just a oh, yeah. plug for you. Good. Yeah. To all 24 of our subscribers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I will call each of them individually and tell them how great Apple is. So, uh, you know, well, remove I, Apple. I mean, I mean, I jumped on the bandwagon for you, Apple, so. That's right. I, I invented the bandwagon. I've been living here all day long. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, hey, that's... Uh, Pokemon Go, that's pretty cool. And another thing, we'll complain about how bad it is as we're playing it. Oh yeah, no, I will go yeah. out in that hundred degree weather and go go raid for a Lugia and everything like that. But oh, I can oh. I can still get mad when the game doesn't load right as uh, Articuno raids start, and you know, mm-hmm. yeah, I still have that right, but I still love the damn game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's be honest. If somebody right now said, "Hey, there's an Articuno at blah blah blah," 
we would pause this podcast and we would go there right now. We started a Twitch channel today. <laughs> BRB yep. hunting. Yeah, and we <laughs> left our very first episode to go hunting. And I put <laughs> and I put up some um, some raunchy music. I wanted just some Pokemon music, you know, remixes, just to like get the idea. Oh, we went out to go play Pokemon Go. But you well, got some ICP or something. I don't know. I got something <laughs> lewd going on there, and I was like, what? Ro- oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I need an adult. <laughs> so. So, yeah. If so, anybody okay. was watching that, sorry. Yeah, we apologize, but don't stop. We'll keep, uh, we'll keep, you get to watch us play. Maybe I'll play some WWE tonight. I don't know. Maybe I'll stay up all night. You're wrestling. playing Fortnite tonight. We're finishing this podcast. I'm going home, and you're playing Fortnite. Maybe we'll play Fortnite tonight. Maybe I won't do anything. Maybe I'll go to bed. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Anyway, so hey. Bed does sound nice. Bed does if sound you nice. Play Fortnite. Where are we at? An hour. An hour? An hour? Yep. So I say let's go say to really our nothing main else topic. On the, uh, oh, there's a big thing left on the list. The biggest thing. Oh, oh man. At an thing. hour mark, we're going to start this. We can save it for next time. Yeah, yeah that, I mean, that might be the best idea. If that's what we want to do because we do get a little opinionated on here. You ain't wrong there, sir. Nope. So, uh, before we go home, let's do mention a couple of things up top here. Um, yeah. First of all, uh, as we mentioned throughout the show, we are on Twitch now. Yay! 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 We, We're we, Twitchers. We actually have the ability to stream now. That's not just through the clunky-ass uh, you know, tools they give you on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. Yeah. We can pretty much stream anything we want to now. We had been streaming a little bit of Injustice 2, Splatoon 2. Just to try it out. Um, I've got some. <laughs> I, I've got some tools coming in the mail. Hopefully tomorrow, or hopefully within the next couple of days, where I'll be, uh, we'll be able to start streaming some more classic like games. Mm-hmm. So that you know. would be awesome. So so follow us uh, twitch.tv slash Court of Cows. Court of Cows. Um, That's us. We're also on Twitter now. Um, yeah. We don't. I haven't posted much. Uh, we haven't posted much on there yet. Um, hopefully we will. But it's there just in case. Uh, it'll probably be a lot of just random consciousness. You know, random mm-hmm. funny thoughts we get about. You know, whatever things yeah. we like. Yeah, for sure. Um, and that is twitter.com slash Court of Cows, or we're at quarter cows on twitter however you want to put it and finally chris was proactive on something i didn't even think about hey but I is a stuff. is a great idea we're also on instagram now Woo. we're on that insta as the kids are calling it insta cow insta cow insta cow yeah it. we, we missed, a, <laughs> missed an opportunity with it. but so, I, yeah. i'm pretty sure we're quarter cows on that so search us there instagram.com slash quarter cows um, I mean, it's pretty much just me taking pictures of toys and putting them up there and uh, saying what I think about them. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty good pictures too. So that's a show in and of itself, buddy. Oh, buddy. I mean that. Uh, so do I. <laughs> I mean, if if you've ever wondered, man, I wonder what that room looks like, full of all that amazing stuff that I can just feel when I listen to them. I will slowly put it all on Instagram, one glorious bat-related thing at a time. And other stuff. I have more than just Batman stuff. Yeah, you do. Yeah. And Robin stuff. I have Robin <laughs> stuff and yeah. Fallout stuff and more Batman stuff and more and Batman <laughs> stuff and Stranger <laughs> Things stuff. You can yeah. you can see our uh, Jerry rigged uh, equipment we've got hanging up in the room. Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe one day we'll take you a little behind the scenes here. Yeah. If you'd like to see that, leave a comment and let us know yeah. if you want to see where the magic happens. And see what will probably end up killing one of us when one of these lights comes down and cracks us on the head. Yeah, yeah. these these aren't uh, OSHA approved lights. They're yeah, they're like Wiley e. Coyote approved lights. <laughs> oh yeah. Right, we're trying to capture the Roadrunner and it's going to go real stuff. bad. Yeah. But man, there are two words when you guys see this room that come to mind, and it is Booster Gold. It is. <laughs> it's grown ass child. <laughs> it's this fool has spent more money than he should on. Stuff he doesn't need. But then again, of course, um, as we said, we're no longer on SoundCloud, SoundCloud, which apparently SoundCloud's dying anyways. Mm. All of our stuff now is going to be on YouTube for a while yeah. um, until we kind of figure out what the next best move is. Also, we're still uploading uh, stuff to YouTube at a constant rate. Um, 
right now it's a lot of unboxings we've got some some bigger videos in the work so be watching out for those pretty soon and yeah and look if there's something you'd like to see us do a video on let us know if there's something you want to hear us talk about if there's a character that you'd like to know more about or anything if you if you want some ideas on some comics to read let us know who and we'll we'll give you a a list of things to read we can do that for you you know what i got a challenge for you listeners if you guys can come up you won't win anything but if you i want you guys to all think of a person you in the dc universe that you'd like to see fight batman and bring it up on the quarter cows page chris will tell you if and when he fought Batman and how that fight went for said person. I'll tell you how Batman would beat him too. <laughs> so. That could be a show in and of itself. Like they just give you a character and you tell him how Batman would win and because he's Batman can't be an answer. I'll give you real reasons. I don't yeah. I, I don't need just because he's Batman. I'll tell you what he would do. That'd be a fun fun. I mean evening. that's the top five reasons and then after that it gets into the real reasons of why he would win. Yeah. <laughs> you know, eventually it gets better there. So But yeah, you know, we look we thrive on feedback, you know. We we want to do what you want to see. So tell us help us help you enjoy your time on the YouTubes. You know, and, and if you have stumbled upon us, please, please, please give us, you know, a subscribe. Uh, we also appreciate thumbs ups, likes. Oh yeah, I love those um, thumbs ups. We also want to see what you think in the comments. You know, tell tell us how we're wrong about Marvel. Tell us. Yeah. Tell us how terrible our voices sound. Yes. <laughs> tell me to stop smacking my gum as I talk. <laughs> I won't, but it'd be nice to hear. You know, uh, literally tell us what you think you know yeah. we, we would appreciate any of that uh any feedback we can get any conversation we can get started and if you just stumbled across us and you've listened for the last hour and a half hi 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 <laughs> there, i mean we must have done something right if you're still here so um, yeah you know we would really love to hear what you have to say and you know that's that's how we grow and how we get to bring you guys more cool stuff and yeah how we keep patting ourselves on the back so it's what we're doing right now but Hey, I think that was a pretty successful podcast. We covered what we need to cover. We will um, we will save the Man of Spiders for next time. Mm -hmm. Maybe have some other cool stuff to talk about as well. Absolutely. Because um, not like cool stuff's going to stop happening. So. Oh, no, there's nothing cool that's happening. Well, <laughs> oh, yep, that's it. Here in a... Uh, we, we ran out. This is the last episode. <laughs> well, it's been the real, last guys. issue. And the bat cave is shutting down. <laughs> no, my deathbed. <laughs> no, um, I'm pretty sure uh, if if not the next issue, the one after will be after Dark Tower comes out, and we'll yeah. be talking about that ad nauseum. Yes, if we have to. Oh, we do. Is you know what? You guys don't have to be here. I'll just sit in front of the mic for an hour and talk. And I guess I'll put the... Uh... But you said he doesn't have to be here. <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, you're precious. <laughs> I guess I'll put the old talent, the old uh, Audible on two time, two times speed to get through these Dark Tower books. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you do what you gotta do. All right, it's important. So, hey, thank you guys for listening. As always, um, this has been Chris, Cody, August, Mike, and uh, court is adjourned. Keep the red phone. Moving.